Hey, my finely feathered friends, Michael Reed here with another Blender 2.83 tutorial where we go through the process of making a pillow. Now, I am aware there are probably a plethora of pillow tutorials out there, but I figured why not throw one on my channel for my viewers. Am I right? Okay, let's get started. So typically we delete everything. We're not going to do that this time. We're going to delete our camera and our light. All right, we're going to keep our default cube. All right, let's take this and let's make this S Y a little bit a little wider there. And we're not going to make the pillow as thick as you'd think. We're going to make it thinner. So S Z, scale Z, and we're going to make this about this thin. All right, and from here, we're going to control A and zero out the scale there. You saw what I did. All right, and go into edit mode, two for edge, select the edge, select, select similar, and we're going to do seams. We're going to right click and we're going to say mark seam. And we've got that marked later if we want to UV unwrap this. From here, we want to subdivide, but we don't want to do our typical subdivision where we just subdivide and it adds a bunch of information because it'll stack too much information in here more than it will in here. What we want to do is manually add subdivisions to start with. So we're going to go into Control, uh, control R for edge loops. We're going to mouse wheel up until we get about a square in this little area right here. And we're going to left click and right click to release. We're going to do the same over here to match about the size of the square. Left click, right click to release. And that is our basic start for subdivision. From here, though, on top of there, we're going to go into modifiers. And we are going to subdivide surface. We're going to keep this simple, not Catmull Clark. Simple, right here. We're going to add this up to 3 and 3, whatever, and go back into object mode. And we're going to apply that. So we have this beautiful, heavy. Uh, heavy polygon situation, a lot of vertices there. And from there, we're going to go into physics. Make this a cloth. Okay, go all the way down to field weights here. And in this case, we're going to turn gravity to zero. All right, what we're going to do now is go to pressure. Now, pressure is basically going to blow this up like a balloon, it's going to create internal pressure. And it's going to kind of stick to the seam situations here, not the way because we marked the seams, but just because of the general shape of the box in, um, in general. Uh, all right. And typically how it works is if you make a pressure lower, then you're going to end up with more seams when it, the simulation plays out. If you make it higher pressure, it's going to blow up faster and create less seams. That's typically how it works. So what we're going to do is let's get some fun seams in here. So let's set this down to like a four. And just so everyone can see what's going on, I went back into object mode, and I'm going to start the simulation by hitting spacebar. Look at it go. Oh, look at that cloth go. Look at those wrinkles. We're going to stop it right there. We don't need it to run through the whole simulation because we already know that we probably um, are going to be just using around this situation. All right, cool, nice. All right, so let's do something. Let's right click this and shade smooth that. And boom, guys, that's it. Tutorial over, you've got a pillow. <laughs> Just kidding, thought I'd leave you hanging there, didn't you? All right, what we're gonna do is show you one more thing, all right, that people I know would be like, well, why didn't you show me this? And I'm gonna show you that. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this cloth situation that we have here and we're going to apply that. All right. Now we're going to go into object mode over thing in my jig here and we're going to go to sculpt mode. We're going to wheel down to cloth right here. And then once we have cloth selected, we're going to go to the tool thing right here. Go down and make sure symmetry symmetry is turned off. Untick that. And now look what you have. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. I am actually drawing more wrinkles on this pillow. And you're gonna say that is disgusting. It looks terrible, right? And, and, and you'd be right again. So what you wanna do is hold shift. And when you hold shift, it's going to smooth out y'all wrinkles. All right, now you can go through at your own leisure 
and you can make sure that things are flat. You can go in, uh, you know, flatten things out. If it's going to be laying on a bed, you can, you can, you know, go back into object mode and flatten this out. You can create more wrinkles and go through at your leisure. This is not a sculpt tutorial, so you can grab your your grab tool. Uh, increase the radius. I right clicked and uh, and you open this and create the radius and you can like grab things and and bring things down here if you think this is too um, hard edged right see how I did that I first of all if we're gonna go smooth for real let's go to the smooth tab here and make sure the strength is set way down here and let's turn the radius down and you can like smooth out these edges um, if you think that they are too smooth and also if you think the edges are too fake kind of looking you can go back to grab and you can like you know move these puppies in like that and stuff and you can tweak to your leisure right and basically I'm not gonna tweak the heck out of this puppy I just wanted to show you how to make a pillow and that my finely feathered friends is how you make a pillow thanks very much all right have a great day